One of the most eagerly anticipated objectives for the James Webb Space Telescope was the TRAPPIST-1 system. It is a system of seven Earth-sized rocky planets around a red dwarf star that is only 40 light-years away. The TRAPPIST-1 system is one of our best chances to find extraterrestrial life because three of the seven planets are located in the star's habitable zone. TRAPPIST-1b, Webb's innermost planet, has yet to receive a thorough examination and the results are not encouraging. So what did Webb discover in one of the planets of the system? What techniques were used to determine the nature of the planet orbiting TRAPPIST-1? Finally, and most importantly, why are these results so critical for astronomers? What is the message sent by James Webb to NASA? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Despite being one of the most expensive and difficult to build space observatories, the James Webb Space Telescope has already provided groundbreaking observations and conclusions since its launch. Its main objective is to investigate exoplanet atmospheres in order to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. When a planet is passing in front of a star, the telescope will utilize infrared technology to detect it. At that point, ground-based telescopes will use the radial velocity approach to determine the planet's mass. The JWST will use its powerful spectroscopy capabilities and coronagraphs, which can directly see exoplanets close to bright stars, to study the exoplanet's atmosphere as well as other characteristics including its color, vegetation, and spin. The JWST will also focus on celestial bodies that are closer to Earth including Kuiper Belt objects, asteroids, comets, and Mars. But what excites scientists the most is the potential to finally examine Pluto in great detail with this revolutionary telescope. Imagine a remote enigmatic location that has long piqued the interest of both scientists and the general public. A world that was once thought of as a planet, but was later downgraded causing great debate and controversy. Its name is Pluto, but today we are finally getting a closer look at this fascinating celestial object thanks to the cutting-edge tools of the James Webb Space Telescope. Already, researchers have made astounding discoveries that have left them in awe. With each passing day, our insatiable curiosity about what is beyond the known cosmos grows stronger and stronger until it reaches the summit of Everest. Black holes are one of the things that scientists have attempted and are still working to understand and prove. Stephen Hawking, one of the most remarkable scientists of our time, is the one who first put forth the theory of black holes, and ever since then, the world has been working to either support or refute it. NASA has independently produced significant must-be-acknowledged discoveries regarding the universe outside of our solar system. With the help of initiatives like Voyager, NASA was able to closely monitor the solar system the numerous planets, and their moons. In addition, Voyager 2 was able to find space outside of the solar system due to unanticipated changes. In order to surpass the rest of the world and an in-depth study of black holes and dark matter, NASA has now planned to construct a telescope that will do the task. The James Webb Telescope is the resource, or you could say a wonder of current technology, that we are talking about. It was intended to not only provide a way to investigate black holes and dark matter, but it will also be sufficient for contribution to other discoveries that are not yet explored. Returning to Stephen Hawking, a legendary figure in astrophysics, and all the science who passed away four years ago, the James Webb Telescope will help NASA validate one of this hypotheses. In 2017, a remarkable astronomical discovery was made by astronomers. They can be found in the chilliest red dwarfs. Seven planets the size of Earth orbit the star TRAPPIST-1. We have only ever discovered that many planets are around a star, excluding the Sun. Just 40 light years separated the planet's systems from Earth. Second, all seven planets shared a rocky composition with the inner planets of our solar system. Last but not least, three of the planets were in the habitable zone, making them potential sites for the discovery of extraterrestrial life. The findings sparked excitement among scientists, and the amazing planetary system was studied using cutting-edge telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope. Due to wavelength constraints, these telescopes had drawbacks and could only detect so much information. Astronomers eagerly anticipated the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in order to concentrate on the Travis-1 system. The telescope has finally produced its first results, but they are not encouraging. So what did the Webb find in one of the system's planets? What methods were employed to eventually determine the type of planet circling one? The most crucial question is why these findings are so relevant to astronomers. 
to completely grasp the importance of web discoveries. About Trappist 1b, it's important to note that the star Travis 1 is either an ultra or an M dwarf, a chill red dwarf. Star M. The majority of stars in our galaxy, roughly 75% of all stars, are dwarfs, which are smaller and cooler than the Sun. This temperature ranges from 2400 to 3800 Kelvin. For instance, Travis 1, which is a mass between 0.08 and 0.6 solar masses, is just 9% as massive as the Sun, yet is 2.5 billion years older than the Sun. Dwarfs are twice as likely to host as Sun-like stars. Planets that are rocky Because white dwarf stars are so active and frequently produce coronal mass ejections and flares that send huge amounts of energy and charged particles into space, they pose a serious threat to the habitability of planets. Due to the powerful radiation and energetic particles they generate, these events have the potential to have a significant influence on any neighboring planet. A planet's atmosphere and the eroded surface can be stripped away by dwarf stars, a process known as atmosphere escape. Planets in close orbits to the star may be particularly vulnerable to damage from this. Concerning the TRAPPIST-1 system, the close proximity of all seven planets in our solar system to Mercury's orbit makes this problem worse. Despite all these circumstances, astronomers chose to investigate this planet with the James Webb Space Telescope. This planet B is the closest planet to the star and orbits it once every 36 hours. It also receives nearly four times more radiation from the star per unit of the surface area than Earth does. How astronomers can pinpoint the planets billions of miles distant from where the solution sits is one of the field's most intriguing mysteries. Examiner Copy A field of physics that more than a century ago completely transformed astronomy. In order to learn more about the temperature and makeup of these far-off worlds, with a planet passing in front of its star, strangers rely on the theory of secondary eclipses. It obscures a small portion of the star as seen from her perspective. By examining the star's light curve, scientists can determine whether an exoplanet is there and where it is orbiting. This arrangement, nevertheless, only sheds light on the planet's night side. The challenge is to fully comprehend the atmosphere of the planet. How astronomers can pinpoint the planets billions of miles distant from where the solution sits is one of the field's most intriguing mysteries, a field of physics that's more than a century ago completely transformed astronomy. In order to learn more about the temperature and makeup of these far-off worlds with a planet passing in front of the stars, strangers rely on the theory of secondary eclipses. It obscures a small portion of the star as seen from her perspective. By examining the star's light curve, scientists can determine whether an exoplanet is there and where it is orbiting. This arrangement nevertheless only sheds light on the planet's night side. The challenge is to fully comprehend the atmosphere of the planet. The light that is produced when a planet passes in front or either side to side of a star is a combination of light that is reflected from both the star and the planet as well as the planet's own infrared thermal emission radiation. However, the system appears during this second eclipse, not infrared. Since the planet is not even drawing in stars, emission from it is being measured. It was determined how much infrared light the planet was emitting during the secondary eclipse based on brightness alone during the primary eclipse from the brightness of the star and planet combined. In contrast, websites are almost perfectly consistent with a black body made of bare rock and no, the researchers were able to observe five secondary eclipses for TRAPPIST-1b, a significant milestone in itself given that the star is over 1,000 times brighter than the planet. The change in brightness detected by the web is less than 0.1%. The results are based on measurements made by Webb's Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIR, which detected an infrared glow from the planet's day side, indicating a temperature of approximately 230 degrees Celsius, suggesting that TRAPPIST-1b is a rocky, barren planet with no significant atmosphere. Previous observations using the Hubble and Spitzer space, telescopes found no evidence of a puffy atmosphere. Buck could not rule out a denser one. Since TRAPPIST-1b is almost 1,000 times brighter than the star, the discovery of five secondary eclipses for TRAPPIST-1b is a noteworthy achievement in and of itself. Less than 0.1% of the brightness has changed, according to the site. Based on measurements taken by a mid-infrared instrument or mirror that picked up an infrared glow from the planet's day side, the findings were made. 230 Celsius or such is the approximate temperature indicated, raising the possibility that TRAPPIST-1b is a stony planet with a weak atmosphere. Earlier observations were made with the use of the Hubble and Spitzer space. No sign of a puffy atmosphere was discovered by telescopes. Buck was unable to exclude a denser one. Environment to move the heat aside from, there were no visible indications that carbon dioxide was absorbing light. 
The groundbreaking study marks the first detection of any kind of light coming from a planet outside of our solar system that is as small and chilly as the rocky planets on our own. We are attempting to ascertain if planets revolving around young energetic stars like TRAPPIST-1 can maintain the atmospheric conditions necessary for life. It also emphasizes the mid-infrared capabilities of the web, a tool for describing hospitable Earth-sized exoplanets. This study was carried out as a component of the Web Guaranteed Time Observation Program, one of eight programs from the first year of science on the Web that were created to assist in properly characterizing system TRAPPIST-1. Additional secondary eclipse according to NASA, the crew is presently keeping watch on TRAPPIST-1b in the hopes of eventually getting a full face. They can learn more about the planet's temperature by looking at a curve that depicts the brightness change across the planet's whole orbit. Do let us know your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you.